And good morning, good morning, everybody. Good to be with you. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing, you beautiful group? Good to see you guys. Unmute your mics and say hello to me, whoever's out there. I'd love to hear Hi, from friends. you guys. Hi, hello. What's up? Hello. hello. Hey. Hey, good morning, Brent and group. Hey, Cabo, hey, hey. Cabo. Cabo, the crazy Cabo clan. Okay, so let's see if I can do this thing. Here it is. I'm doing it. I'm better at this. Jordan's watching. Jordan, but I passed the test. The I did. Time. I did. I always get up there. And I panic. I get up here and panic. So, uh, all right. All right. How's everyone doing? Good. Good. So, I have two rules. I never speak at 8 a.m. And with the time zone change, it's 8 a.m. So, I'm on, I've had half of one cup of coffee. So, I'm, I cannot attest to how good or bad this will be today. But, uh, I like to start talking around 10 a.m. You can even hear my voice. I'm like, what is wrong with me this morning, man? I got to get going. Mm. All right. So if everyone can um, <clears throat> mute your mics, because I asked y'all to unmute your mics, and then someone's going to forget, and the dog will start barking, or the kids will come in. And we love dogs, and we love kids, but, you know, we want to have a good meeting here. So, all right. So let's see. Let's get this party started. So a couple things. Number one, what I want to cover with you guys today is um, – B, it's just it's great to be with you. It's awesome. For those of you that are out in Cabo, it's just like people say it's the most special, amazing, incredible thing we've ever done. And I surprised everyone with a massive fireworks show over the pool and the beach area between the two giant Hyatt Ziva Towers. And we had a massive dance party with a, you know, a DJ. And we were just under the fireworks going crazy. And it, it was super fun. So come next year. If you missed it this year, just say, I'm going next year. So that's one thing. But uh, so great to see you guys. Obviously, we had a wonderful time and it's going to be back. I'm actually in Sacramento. I called Rob and said, Rob, I never asked you to make me coffee, but I need coffee, man. He's okay. I'll have it for you on stage. I go on stage. He thought I was kidding. Like, like a virtual cup of coffee. I go, no, man, I'm I'm here. I'm, he's like, what? So uh, I'm here. Beautiful. Uh, all the way in, baby. So there, there. This is where the magic happens. There's Rob there at the at the helm of everything. But uh, so let's get this party started. Okay, number one, number one. I'm going to cover sales. I want to actually talk about real estate for like one minute. But cover your basics. Make sure that you're doing open houses, make sure that you're door knocking, make sure that you're doing postcards, that you're farming, make sure that you're asking for referrals. Um, you know, you can always tell how bad you want it on what you're willing to do. Are you willing to call 40 people today and tell them, hey, I'm in a contest? Um, you know, create a contest, put yourself in the contest and run with another buddy. Just pick your friend and say, hey, whoever wins this month, whoever sells the most homes gets to take uh, the other guy or gal has to take them out to dinner with their significant other, husband, wife, spouse, partner, whatever, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the deal is. Um, and you, you can create your own contest. And then and then you say, I'm in a contest in the month of March, and I desperately am trying to uh, help five homeowners, uh, people who are renting, become homeowners. And then I'm also looking specifically for three listings. And if you can help me hit this goal, I will send you to any restaurant of your choice in town, your favorite. I'm talking Fleming's, Ruth, Chris, um, you know, Morton Steakhouse, well, whatever floats your boat. Some people, it's Cattlemen's. They love Cattlemen's. Um, sushi, Italian. I mean, somewhere you wouldn't normally go that costs a fortune, I'll send you there. And, uh, you know, I'll give you a $300 gift card. If it, you know, if you live in Newport Beach or Beverly Hills or Manhattan or Martha's Vineyard or West Palm Beach, I'll give you a $500 gift card to your favorite restaurant. It's not that will um, go bonkers over that, but some of them will. They will work so hard to find you a referral and say, and make sure you say, and when it closes escrow, I give you a $500 gift card. Now, if someone gives you a listing appointment and you don't get the listing, they list with Remax or Century 21 or some independent, still 
you know, I'm like, hey, I didn't get it, but man, I'm so grateful that you gave him a referral. Here's a $50 gift card or, you know, or depending upon where you are, if you're in Missouri or Oklahoma, a $50 gift card's plenty. Now, if you're in, you know, um, Newport Beach, LA, San Diego, Manhattan, wherever, West Palm Beach, somewhere expensive, maybe a $100 gift card, you know, just double the amount. It's, and you think, oh, I don't know, trust me. The, now they, when you go look, it didn't work out. I go, no, but I'm so grateful for what you did. You have somebody who's thinking about you and really, now they're gonna work 10 times as hard to get you the next appointment because you gave them something when you received nothing. Very, very important you you reinforce that thing. So as far as sales goes, I'll wrap up with this, cover your basis, do what it takes. How bad do you want to, how hungry are you, et cetera. Now, if you're in here, you're cut a lot, hopefully a lot of you are past that. You're going, look, I'm here for the long game, not the short game. Sales, so you could sell, you could sell 55 homes this month. I've done it. I've with my team, I've been paid 55 times in a single month. Anybody want to do that? And it's great, but ask me what it pays me today in March the 14th, 2022. Nothing. It is a complete and total waste of time. So there's a kind of the sales process first you kind of when you get real estate most people tend to work with buyers and then they gravitate to sellers then and then once they get all these listings they build a team because they're getting sign calls internet leads they have more leads than they can handle they hire a buyer's agent then they maybe get a second hire a transaction coordinator executive assistant and then they build this team so it goes from buyer's agent to buyer seller 50 50 to seller only where you're just a big bad listing agent and i would carry 18 to 28 listings at all times and then you build your team out i built my team out to 10 15 20 25 30. i mean at one point at remax i had 45 buyers agents it's a big team right and so and how do you do that love people how do you do that serve them how do you do that when things go wrong don't beat them up don't chastise them don't yell at them don't be the big bad boss be the biggest lover server be santa claus you know be the easter bunny be yogi bear be be you know somebody oscar schindler be strong in the face of struggle and resistance be martin luther king be bigger than the problem right and so we don't have problems you know the ukraine has problems we we don't have problems you know yemen has problems baghdad has problems you have no problems um you know the enemy is the inner me the only problem you got is you it's what you're telling yourself because you haven't read the books you haven't listened to the podcasts you haven't done the youtube and some of you are like no read the books i'm doing youtube i'm here in your unplugged class and it's still not working for me so we're going to talk about that so there there are some tweaks and i'm going to help you with that but so really what's the long game about i'm going to just say it everybody write this down it's 9 11 right now it's literally 9 11 a.m it's 9 1 1. it's an emergency right now the long game's called retirement who whoever said somebody said yeah retirement should be after 40 years of toil most people get serious at 25 so 65. you get out there and you just put in 40 years for the railroad 40 years for the hilton corporation 40 years for ibm once you've done 40 years hard time you realize you can murder somebody in a fist fight in a bar you got mad and they die and you get like 10 years it's like four times more than manslaughter okay so 40 years a long time um so here's the deal why did why not why not just put get all done in the next five years why not well you absolutely could um within 17 months i was making a hundred thousand a month in this well you're special again the enemy is the inner enemy. I am no more special than you are. I'm created in the image of God and, and, and you know what I mean? We are all created by God and you all have certain inalienable abilities and you're entitled to certain freedoms to open la boca. And when you open la boca often with love in your heart, not anger, right? And, and you're doing it and you're getting better. The more frequency you do that, the more results you're gonna get. And so you, you, you know, if you don't open your la boca, you know, I don't even know if that means mouth. I guess La Boca means mouth. But here's the deal. Um, you will struggle. And so um, retirement is really a word I want to use. But I want you to think of it in the next two or three years. Every single one of you, I don't care if you're 21, you can be retired when you're 23. I don't care if you're in this room and you're 83, you can be retired when you're 85. 
you can you you can do this in the next year or two. Literally, what you do in the next five months can change your great great grandchildren's life. What you do in the next three, four, five months. And you think, I could never do that in real estate. I've sold 55 homes in a month that didn't change anything for anybody. 55 people bought homes, 55 people sold homes. Some of them were listings, some of them were buyers. Um, back then, I think most were buyers, probably probably 45 of the 55 were buyers, but maybe 10 listings. So, but what is retirement? Let me help you with that. I want you to think about the word retirement. It's called no work. It's called get paid. In other words, you don't go to work. You're like, Brent, you're working right now. Yep, I work uh, Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Now, um, I did. I do have something this Wednesday up at Lake Tahoe at Incline Village. I'm doing a big training up there, Incline Village, for the EXP branch office. And then I'm going over the mountain, over Mount Rose Pass into Reno, and I'm doing a huge thing up there for like a couple hundred. And uh, and so um, we'll be. I mean, so I do have something this Wednesday that was scheduled a long time ago. But I work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. That's my schedule. And I, I love what I do. If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. This is fun. I wanna. I don't need to be here. I don't need to do this. You know. But I want to. I want to see your life change. So. Um, it's like Elon Musk, what drives him? Steve Jobs, what drives him? Richard Branson, what, what drives him? I mean, Glenn Samper works hard, he's a billionaire because it's not about the money, it's about changing people's lives. And yes, it is about the money. You need money to pay your bills, you need money to take care of your debt, you need money to retire. So I won't say it's not about the money, but it's not about the money because if you deliver value and love and service and you do more than your competitors do, you'll be paid really well the world rewards that so um so retirement is not have, like if i don't get out of bed this month i get paid everything and more because it keeps growing every month write this down how would you like to lose control of your income in a positive way a lot of us at times have been like oh man this just sucks it's not going well well you've lost control of your income in a negative way but how about where it just grows and grows and grows every month it's insane and so the hardest part is the you know the first you know few yards the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step right you want to go fast go alone you want to go far let's go together that's an ancient african proverb i love that you want to go fast go alone you want to go far let's go together so what is retirement well freedom travel play i like those words literally it's so cool where we are we can go anywhere do anything do whatever just no big deal um no stress it's no buyers and no sellers i have not had a buyer or a seller um to do, that I had to deal with for four years. Um, I can't even tell you what it's like. And you're like, well, I love buyers, I love sellers. No, you love your family. You've forgotten why you got your real estate license. You you love your children. Uh, like, oh, I do, I do, I do. No, you work five, six, seven days a week as an agent. You have no boundaries and you've told yourself that, that you love this. And, and I could go, if EXP went away, I could go back to real estate. I do like it a lot, but I love my family, you know, and um, in, 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 so I get that. I mean, I, I, you can love your clients and you should, but there's a priority. You should love your seven year old more, <laughs> right? You should love your 15 year old daughter more, but how do they spell love? T I M E. What do we not give them? Well, uh, they understand. I don't think so. I think when you look back, you'll live, you'll have regrets. Like why did I work so hard? And so you can work smart, you could do things differently. So, um, you know, it's called four years, no appraisal issues, no loan issues. We're having a problem with the loan, uh, you know, get it funded, no repair issues. The, the roofer didn't show up, the plumber didn't show up. It wasn't done right. There's termites, oh, they got a 10th house, right? Title issues, et cetera, et cetera. Freaked out agent on the other side of the transaction, that listing agent. Who you say, when this is over, I will never show another one of their listings. They're certifiable crazy cuckoo. Or maybe you're the listing agent and the buyer's agent's just nuts. I mean, insane. It's like, oh my gosh. Um, or a crazy lender. We actually had a le lender threaten to kill the other agent. The buyer had found this lender online. He threatened to hunt down the other agent and kill him. It was like, oh my God, because he called him at like 7.30 a.m. on a Saturday morning. <laughs> Wow. Anyways, um, and if I and if I said the name of the agent, 
Um, well, I'll tell you right now, it was Jay Nelson. <laughs> you could feel it on Jay Nelson. You know, a lender threatened to kill him or something, called him. I think it was 7.30 in the morning. It was crazy. There's some crazy and all the stress that you deal with. So, so here's the moment of self-evaluation. What do we mean by that? Well, um, I'm keeping an eye on my phone. I have a... Um, we might have, I might have, okay, just keep an eye on my phone. It's a long story. Um, Self-evaluation. So are you doing what you need to be doing? So um, let me ask you some questions. Number one, write this down. Who am I bringing to local events? Like, um, you know, how to dominate your market with social media, a lead mastery generation workshop, you know, mastery lead generation workshop, whatever you want to call it. Um, who are you bringing? Like, like, oh, I'll be there. It's not about you being there. I mean, yes, you need to learn that, but bring five or 10 guests. And it's, you don't put EXP anywhere in the room and you don't talk about EXP. You just add value, value, value. And everyone knows that when there's any EXP and there's a handful of non EXP guests that are there, but you make it fun. There's music. Like, well, we don't have that in my area, Brent. Well, guess what? They didn't have it in Sacramento. Um, and so I created the first one at a, at a table like this at a title company called First American Title. We were in that title company for two years. And we would pack out a table that maybe held 25 people, and then we put another 30 or 40 behind them. And we just, it was free. I brought a few sandwiches, cut them all in half, and some bottle water. Someone's mic's on. Somebody's mic is on. Let's see, I think it might be Amanda Weller. I'm not sure, but your mic is on. Um, and so here's the deal. Um, oops, someone just muted the whole audience. Okay, thank you. So, you know, who are you bringing to events? And then if there aren't any in your area, create them. Like we have one coming up in Sacramento, right, Rob? What's it called? Become a powerhouse listing agent. It's coming up, I believe, the 24th of March. They go, you're so lucky. Create it for them. Just ask, well, I don't know how to become a listing agent. I, I'm not the speaker. Last month we did the list uh, lead mastery workshop. I wasn't the speaker. We do dominate social media. I mean, this is my idea of social media, right? I mean, I'm not the speaker. You think I speak at all this stuff. I don't. I bring in experts like, well, I don't have that ability. Again, the enemy is the enemy. Yes, you do. Um, Seneca says this. It is not because things are difficult. It isn't that you do not try. Is because you do not try that things are difficult. I'll say it again. I love this quote. It's one of my favorite quotes. Seneca realized it thousands of years ago. Nothing new under the sun. Nothing's changed. It is not because things are difficult that you do not try. It is because you do not try that things are difficult. So um, some of these mics on. I don't know where that's coming from, but anyway. All right. Uh, all right. A couple of you people who are phoning in on your iPhones. We can't find you in the audience because you're phoning in. If you could touch your iPhone uh, screen and hit the mute button, we would be grateful. Thank you. Um, love you guys. All right. So, um, um, so anyway, so who you bringing to events, create events, start with 5, 10, 15, 20 people. Then they just start growing and do it every month, not once a quarter. You get no momentum. This is about momentum. And so you can do this. The enemy is the enemy. It's, it's, you're the solution. That's the good news. You could change it. So um, do the work. So what is the work? Well, watch the video in person with somebody seven times a week. So what I do every morning, what did we, what'd you do, Brent? Every morning I met somebody for coffee at 6.30 at Panera Bread um, or 7 a.m. or 7.30. And usually I did it, honestly, around 7.30, 8.30 at a local mortgage company called Guild Mortgage or a title company called First American. I used their conference room. I brought my laptop in. Here's my laptop. It's portable. And I press play. You download the modelexplained.com to your laptop. You hit a download button. You don't know how to do it. But I didn't know how to do it either. And um, I don't even know if I know how to do it now. But just ask somebody who's intelligent. You, know, you hit download. And there's there. Anytime you want to play, you just click it. And you don't need an internet connection. You may, all you need to make sure is your laptop's charged up. Hit play. And you have some de decent speakers. Nah, don't bring in speakers and hook it up to your laptop. You look like an idiot. Buy a new laptop and make the investment, okay? <clears throat> but do what you got to do at the same time.
But I show this to seven people a week, 30 people a month. And, and, and you know how many people signed up? Five. You guys are all worried. Well, they, they said no, not now. They heard it was a pyramid. They heard this. They heard that. They, they're tired of being caught. That's what I heard do five and a half years ago. Nothing. 25. 25 a month. I would never do that. I'm too busy. I'm too successful. You know, I just went to Cobalt Banker. I just left Remax and I went to Compass. I just sold my friend. I, you know, we just had a baby. We're about to have a baby. I just sawed off my right arm. I just attached my right arm. You know, people have whatever they have. And, and, and some of them are, you know, I just had open heart surgery. I mean, that's a, that's a big deal. I get it. Um, so here's the deal. I only got five a month. That's all I did. It wasn't even that good. I wasn't even that good. Five out of 30. But five months later, I'd sponsored 25 on my front line. And the key is momentum. It's sponsoring a bunch of people in a short amount of time, but not all over the United States. I sponsored 25 pretty much right here in Sacramento. You guys are calling. You, how do you create that core group, that momentum? I created a core group right here. You're sponsoring people in Miami. You know, you're sponsoring people in Dallas. You can't get them together for popcorn and movies. Friday night, we watch In Pursuit of Happiness with Will Smith. Or you go you go out to dinner at an Italian restaurant Saturday night, you know, called Round Table. And, and you know, people don't care. They just want to be a part of something. You can't have them over for a picnic in your backyard and barbecue hot dogs and hamburgers and bring your kids over. We'll go swimming. Or maybe you don't have a pool, but one of your agents does. And you go, hey, Darcy, can we do a barbecue at your place on Sunday afternoon and invite everyone over? And, da, 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 da. and yeah, yeah, let's do it. You create culture you create um, uh, community people want to be a part of community and so that's all i did but the 25 i sponsored they were people where the light bulb goes boom, it goes on you show them the five-year plan when you're done doing the model explain.com and their head goes snaps back i'm always looking for the head snap i don't say at the end of five years you're gonna make 2.1 million dollars don't do that it's like the, 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 i'm gonna tell a joke but here's the punchline you dumb the punchline no you tell the joke or then you say the punchline they they laugh it's funny you can't tell the end of the joke before you tell the joke same thing the five-year plan i want to show you an illustration a five-year illustration of how rev share is calculated how it works it takes like 3.3 minutes um three and a half minutes and they go, okay, yeah, I got time. And I'm watching, watching, I watch, I watch them close. And they get to the end, they go, and then that equals 2.1 million. They go, they snap back. Not always. I'm looking for the head snap. It's like, bing, light bulb on. I'm like, okay, we've got somebody who gets it. I know, actually, wipe my mouth just now because thinking about it makes me slobber. I get excited seeing the, the lights come on. And so you're looking for the lookers. You're lo you, you, if you talk people in EHP, it's not going to work. But if you find people who are excited and see it, I, I saw it. Wild horses couldn't have kept me away. The goals are hard to find. Self-evaluation. How many people have you, have you shown to us? Well, I don't know people like you knew people. The enemy is the enemy. Go meet people. So wouldn't it make sense if you don't know people? You should go, well, how would I do that? Go freaking make it happen. I don't know how you do it. You go do it. Go to, go to the local board. Go to Brian Buffini, go to Mike Ferry, go to go to Remax's annual convention in Las Vegas. Well, I'm not a Remax agent. They let anyone buy a ticket. And you don't have to go sit in there for hours and hours and listen to their speakers. Be out in the lobby, meeting people, getting coffee. They have no idea who you are, what you're doing. And you go, oh, and they, they assumed you're with Remax. And you go, no, I'm with. Uh, I'm just checking out uh, Remax. And, and and don't hand out EXP cards. You're full for your EXP. I have no EXP cards. I have none. Never have. Never had Remax cards. Never had Keller Williams cards. If you don't get their information, nothing's going to happen. Stop being that guy who puts a hundred cards on a hundred seats. Knock it off. Take the magnet off your car. Take the magnet off your car. Anyway, so um, it's about you becoming a master at being compelling through talking to enough people to gather their information. Sometimes uh, I just write down, okay, Bobby Malone, uh, Compass. And then I go back to my office and I get on my laptop and I'll Google Bobby Malone Compass. I'll find him on Facebook. I research him. I go, Bobby, Brent Gobe, I met you last week. I met you two years ago at a Mike Ferry event. I met you three years ago at a Remax event. I met you about 15 years ago at a Cobalt Banker agent event. Do you remember me? I, I was so impressed with you. There are people that I met at Cobalt Banker 35 years ago at the Street of G Dreams. Uh, Manny uh, Ciceris. And he's wearing his suit, his bright white shirt, silk ties in front of a multi, multi million dollar home. It's called Street of Dreams. And I'm so impressed with that. I still remember him 35 years later. Should I call him? 
he's probably dead. No, actually, he just signed up in EXP, and he's here with me right now. So there are people you call, it's been 35 years, they may not remind me. Remember me. People remember people. I remember Joe Reese, Travis Sani, and Eric Larson, and Mikey Johnson from the fifth grade. Haven't talked to them since the fifth grade. I moved in the fifth grade. But I remember Eric, Joey, and Michael because I left Chula Vista, California. I was born in San Diego, grew up in Chula Vista, and I moved to Sacramento. I've never talked or seen them since, but I remember them. My dad, just a few years ago, was in Carmel, and Chris Christopherson's playing there at one of the local real high-end restaurants. He kept looking at my dad, and my wife's elbowing my dad. He's looking over here again, and they're in the back of the restaurant in the corner. It's it's Carmel. It's bougie. They got the little candle with the red thing around it, and the, the ambiance is perfect. It's kind of dark, and these Chris is playing up there, but you can still see. And he's like, no, he's not. And my, my mom's like, yes, he's looking at you. Chris Christopherson, the movie star. He's in Carmel. He's just singing and playing on the piano or something. And my dad's like, no, he, he doesn't remember me because Chris Christopherson and my dad played football together in college in Southern California. And it, it's only been, you know, 65 years since they'd spoken. He went on to become a movie star. And, uh, and so uh, and if you're in Cabo, you guys all know my dad. And she's like, go say hey. He's like, no, I'm not going to bug him. I'm not going to be that guy. So when it's over, my wife, my mom, if you know her, she's a very convincing German woman. Um, and she goes, she goes, come on, come on. And he goes up there, hey. And, and before he could say anything, Chris Christopherson goes, Jim Gove, how the hell are you? <laughs> That's what he said 65 years later. The enemy is the enemy. Quit telling yourself BS stories about how you don't know anyone. That may be true. Go meet people. And you, I met you a week ago. I met you a month ago. I met you 65 years ago, 35 years ago. And when Sheila said, Brent, you may not remember, I met you two years ago at a Haas Pratt seminar for 30 seconds. I didn't. After I spoke, I met 100 people in the lobby. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. 100 people. I didn't remember her. But now I had empathy. I'm like such an egotistical, egomaniac. This sweet, nice woman from Dallas, Texas was telling me how impressed she was with me, how she never forgot me, and she wanted my opinion. And she's going, do you remember me? Got him on the upswing. No, like, do you remember me? No, do you remember me? It's 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 not what you say. It's how you say what you say. But listen to the music. She's, do you remember me? And I'm like, I don't. I'm sorry. But now whatever she's selling, I'm buying because I, I had empathy for her. Now, if I was a bad person, look, I got no time. You get about 10 more seconds to tell me what you're calling for. That's people with bad energy. You don't want them in EXP. Why, why are our events so fun? Because the nice, positive, open-minded, you know, people think, God, this might work. They, they get an EXP. All the grumpy, negative, sucking on a lemon, sour pusses, they're not an EXP. It actually weeds them out, and you get all the good people. Now, sometimes um, the weird one slips through or whatever. That's that. You know, that's the life. And the bigger we get, that happens. But so here's the deal. I'm, I sponsored 25 people who wanted to replicate, duplicate, emulate. They wanted to build a sales organization, not a downline. Please never use the word downline again, ever, ever, ever. I'm trying to see. I had somebody that was going to sneak in here. He was going to send me a text, and it looks like he was not able to get free. So um, I was going to have him just stay because he's just on fire. But um, so you're looking for a talent. You're looking to identify talent. And when you see talent, you attach yourself at the hip with talent. And, and, and you know, that's what you're looking for. Somebody like, I want to be that. Ta Brent, Brent, help me. So here's what I say to people. Look, your actions speak so loud. I can hardly hear what you're saying. When I know somebody's eyeball to eyeball watching the model explain dot com with someone every day, 30 times a month you will sponsor at least five, you know? And then five months later, how many you sponsored? 25, then it just goes boom. It's just like taking that can of Coke, shaking it up, popping the top. You know, it is a chemical reaction. Some of you sponsored five people this year and you're not getting the momentum. And, and you're talking to one or two people a month, you're not getting the momentum. You'll never become a listing agent either. Everything is done when you start, well, how do I get my sellers to call me? start going to stuff and you learn to want it bad enough and you copy and emulate people you watch what they're doing in their marketing okay watch out watch out for the bus benches and the safeway uh tape does not work in my opinion um so you gotta do that uh and just because you tried radio doesn't mean it won't work i failed twice succeeded the third time so that is what i had for today i want to turn around and look at the screen here so we have let's see we got um 
Where are my screens? Am I blocking one of the screens? I am taking myself off the screen. So let's see. How do I get off the screen? Let me see. Okay, I got this. I got this. Like Jordan, I can do it. <laughs> oh, that's got unplugged. So um, uh, we're putting it up right now. I got it. My crack team's putting up. I'm looking for uh, the West Coast tour. Is that going to come up somewhere? So we're, we'll throw it up in one second. So live, you know, we're doing like 15 cities or 17 cities in 17 days. I lost track, but um, that will come up behind me any second. I wanted these screens. We'll do the other events. It's going slow. So we'll talk about Maui on my far left. Everyone over here. So if you haven't heard, um, we are doing a Maui Invitational open to everyone at the entire um, company. And it's January 25th to February, uh, January 29th to February 5th. The website, it's up. It says register here. You can't register until August 1st. We might make a note on that website, Rob, that um, we will not open registration until August 1st because we want you to be able to qualify. You have to have 20 FLQA, 20 FLQA and 100 in your organization come. And basically, if you do that, um, we're there's 400 of us going to go golf, swim, play, snorkel, sail, build sandcastle on the beach. It's the most magical place in the world. There's no better place you can travel in the world than Maui, Hawaii. And so that is January 29th to the 5th. A lot of you have 5, 7, 10, 12 FLQAs. Get to over 20, and then you will, by doing that, you'll have over 100. <clears throat> and this is a big deal. So it's open to everyone in all of EXP worldwide. Um, the first 400 spots, once they're gone, they're gone. And we're not going to open registration until August 1st. And to qualify for that, you have to have, you have to show us a screenshot of your 20 FLQA and 100 in your group. So that will be very cool. Um, next is the West Coast Tour. It's right here. You can see the cities by going to westcoasttour22.com. And uh, I'm going to be running all over the West Coast with James and Glenn Sanford. We're starting off with Glenn Sanford and James uh, up north. And then we're going to come down the West Coast and then head across the Southwest with uh, Jason Guessing. So it's going to be Glenn Sanford and Jason Guessing. Um, so that's happening. Um, and you can get the details on that uh, on there. Now, what, what I'm going to do is the new RevShare Plus model. I'm going to explain how we plus RevShare. So it's something you can bring guests to. It's going to be a great follow-up event. Make sure they've watched the modelexplain.com and their thing, but to see it again, it's a great follow-up. There'll be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in some locations, over a thousand people. Um, there's three locations where it's just going to be me and maybe another speaker, and that will be Sacramento, San Francisco, and LA. Um, Glenn had to go to something in Washington, D.C. He was supposed to be there, and Jason can't make it till we get to Las Vegas. Jason Guessing, our CEO. Um, when Jason and Glenn are there going to do, they're going to kind of do a state of the union, you know, where EXP's been, where they are today, and where we're heading in the future. Uh, Jason Guessing is our CEO, and, and of course, you all know who Glenn is. But there are three cities, you, but it's still going to be awesome because I'm going to do the new RevShare Plus, the enhanced RevShare model, how we're going to take your RevShare and just explode it. Even if you don't add more people, it will grow. Um, and I'm going to explain why that is and what we did to enhance revenue share. And then after that is, um, let's see, do we have it up on one of these screens? There it is. Look at Rob. We're, we're cooking with gas now. So if you come over here, you have shareholders in June. <clears throat> this is something you want to go to the Rosen shingle. Um, let's see, zoom. Let me see if I zoom out or am I getting closer? There we go. So there, are there no dates on here? I don't see dates on here. Is it just me? Is there no dates on that? That is hilarious. This is so funny. Okay, so let's, let's, um, um, it's 19th, 20 and 21 are the dates. Um, that's so funny, man. Leave me. I just never mind. I could laugh. Um, not on our just <clears throat> okay. Uh, so it is, uh, that's just yeah, the 18th is a Saturday, though. Um, let's see, I'm scrolling through my thing. So, my advice is you know, you can get there on Saturday, the 19th is Father's Day. So I'm going to fly out that evening after Father's Day. I'm going to spend Father's Day with my kids. I recommend you dads do the same thing. And then um, fly out Sunday evening after you've spent time with your kids and your family. And they may be coming to Florida Sunday evening and be there Monday and Tuesday. So it'll it's going to run through the... Um,
uh, 21st is what I'm being told. Does that sound right there, Rob? Uh, it says 19th through the 21st. 19th through the 21st. Okay, there you go. There you go. I'm putting it up with the date. Good. Awesome. Awesome. <clears throat> Jordan, feel free. I know you're in the front row. Feel free to, to correct me. But that is a great opportunity. There we go. We got a new updated slide, so you could even register there. Um, and then to the build conference is coming up. Let me see if I hit this button and go over here. So we have uh, opened up tickets to build in Cabo. You can, uh, everything's available. So right there, there it is. It's going to be amazing. August 23rd, 24th, and 25th. That should be a Tuesday, a Wednesday, and a Thursday. Tony Robbins is our keynote final speaker on Thursday, the 25th. He had such a blast. Um, every, the whole world was shut down, and EXP was the only company that had the courage to do something. That's the actual meeting with Tony Robbins last year. There's Tony on stage, and it's just, if you've never heard him, it is truly a treat. So buy some tickets. Tickets now, get some rooms now and start promoting that. It's going to be amazing. And then uh, I think that's everything, right? Rob, am I missing anything? Looks good. All right. So, uh, you know what I've missed? Nothing. I've never missed anything in five and a half years. Um, so, that's if you want to do what I'm doing, show up to everything. It's kind of like going to class. You can't get A's, you can't smoke it if you don't uh, go to class. I'm going to open this up for Q&A for about five to ten minutes from the audience. So if you have a question, chat, chat, type your question in the chat bar. Um, and uh, um, so I see what's the red website to register for build. Somebody type that. And then the answer, of course, is their build event 22.com. Um, and so, um, yes, yeah, San Diego was taken off because Glenn and Jason were not coming. The host of San Diego, Kyle Whistle and Dan Beer uh, canceled it. Um, and they're doing a thousand person event the next month in April. So they're just going to focus on that. And then when we get either Glenn or, uh, or uh, uh, Jason guessing back in play, maybe July, August, September, we'll come back down to San Diego or maybe Mark Willis if he can get freed up from his legal situation where his formal company is, uh, you know, decided to sue him because they're afraid for him to come to work for us. So um, Kabul was amazing, awesome. What is the shareholder summit? Oh, great question. What is the shareholder summit? You're all shareholders. The reason you don't know what they are is because all the real estate companies you've ever worked with, you weren't a shareholder. You work for Remax, you work for Compass, you work for Sotheby's, you work for Century 21, Realogy, Home Smart, blah, 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 you know, Berkshire Hathaway. You're not a shareholder. You don't own stock in those companies. Warren Buffett does. Gary Keller does, you know, um, um, Dave Linegar, the billionaire from Remax, he owns the stock and they do have shareholders meetings every year. You're required to by law if you have a corporation like that. And there's like three people that come to it. Um, if you've owned a corporation, you know what I'm talking about. Well, we, we're going to have 7,000 people this year in Orlando at the Rose and Shingle because we are shareholders and a rising tide rises all ships. So it's a lot like EXP Com, but more of Wall Street will be there. Investors from Wall Street will be there. Um, it's it's pretty formal. It's pretty cool. Um, there'll be training on real estate, training on agent attraction. There'll be financials. Our chief financial officer, um, Jeff Whiteside, will give a state of the union address. It's, it's very... Um, it's phenomenal is what it is. I brought Jay Kinder there and um, that's where he entered EXP was at a shareholders in uh, Fort Lauderdale about three or four years ago. Um, they were great. Everything works great to bring people, but you got to have a great attitude. So um, other questions, will there be an East Coast tour? Not this year. I, I chose, I've done a couple East Coast tours. I've ignored the West Coast where I live. And so we're doing a West Coast tour this year. You know, maybe in the fall, maybe I'll come out October and do an East Coast tour or something like that. But, um, you know, you guys are welcome to do whatever, you know, people together. So, you know, nobody's holding anybody back here. Go create and do stuff. Um, good questions. Does anybody want to unmute their mic and ask a question? Um, or do we have them all locked down? Or, do you know, Rob, or the... Or... Yes. Does anybody have a question for me um, that you would like to ask? I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Okay, hi. Now, this is not exactly related to what you were speaking of, but um, I've been wanting to know about the health insurance 
that EXP offers as a way of trying to recruit agents? And I don't know much about it. Do you know where I could find out information about that? Yeah, yeah. Go into the world and ask them to connect you with Clearwater. It's Clearwater Health Insurance. That's the company we partner with. And they okay. can teach you all about it. You betcha. You. Great, okay. great question. Who, who's Thanks. next? I got a question. Okay, fire away. Yeah, what I heard you say something about the five year plan and then also that quote that you came up that you had up there. Uh, can you tell us more about uh, the five year plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the quote is it is not because things are difficult that you do not try. It is because you do not try that things are difficult. How many of you agree with that bad boy? You know, oh, and man. Tony Robbins says, if you're in your head, you're dead. What that means is you're thinking about thinking about thinking about and you never put in the action. Massive action creates results. Another Tony Robbins quote. And it's true. If you, I mean, you will get better if you get out there and just get doing it. If you think about it, you'll never improve. Therefore, you will always be lacking and you just won't have what it takes to get people across the finish line. So a great one. As far as the five-year plan, that is a illustration on how to make $2.1 million a year. Ask your upline about it. Um, that they can get that to you. Um, it's a five-year kind of, that was, it's the bigger picture. It's nothing you lead with, nothing you email. Our company prefers you not use it as a point of contact. It's more of a illustration on how RevShare works. It's a follow-up tool. Um, nothing you want to put on your website. Um, it's it's kind of to help people get down like, well, how does RevShare get paid out? Exactly how does this work? It's it's definitely for a second appointment, not a first. Sure. So, um, so there's that. A ask your upline for it. If they don't have it, ask theirs. And if they don't have it, ask theirs. Again, I'll say upline here, but when you're talking to the public and other agents, it's your partner. Ask your business partner. You know, don't, you know, don't say this is my sponsor. This is my partner. This is my downline. Look at my downline. Don't ever use the word downline. Try not to use the word down. In here, it's fine. We're all the EXP agents. You have avatars. But again, lose the word downline, upline, sponsor. This is my business part. This is my, if you want to refer to your, your downline, as some people would say, this is my sales organization. I built a sales organization of real estate agents and brokers of 400, you know, in the last 14 months. And it's been amazing. And then I'm going to add a zero and make it 1400. And, and, and that means a lot of other people have to have two, three, 400. I mean, just a hundred is like 7,000 a month. If you've got 20 FLQA, some of you have a hundred, you don't have 20 FLQA. So you got to, you got to, you you know, what, what's a farmer do? Plants the orchard, the, the crop in the spring, and they harvest in the fall. And you can't plant five trees, seven, you know, you know, uh, ears of corn and have a big harvest of corn. You got to, you got to plant and then you reap the reward. And, and so I'm telling you right now, the minimum is 20. I mean, you'll make money at 10 and 15, but not like you could get to 20 and 25 is like really good and 40 is insane when you get 40 FLQ and it's just crazy 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 good questions anybody else other questions out there oh uh jason says my podcast is pure gold um thank you jason very nice so if you're not on the brent gove podcast go to brentgove.com brentgove.com and then click on join the podcast people do love it i hear a wonderful thing i basically go completely nuts once a week <laughs> Not unplugged just once a month. And this today was tame. Like I said, it was 8 a.m. on my body clock and I did not have enough coffee. So this was pretty super tame. Those of you that know me. Um, any final questions or texts? I stuck around for a little bit because I was so mellow this morning on a Monday morning. Or is it Tuesday? What is today? Monday, Tuesday, Monday. It's Monday. Um, other questions? Anybody else? Please repeat the quote again. Um, it is Seneca. Did someone type it? It's in the chat bar. Scroll up. Someone's typed it in there. Hey, Brent, I got another question. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm coming from North Carolina and be moving to Florida in the next two or three months. You got any tips for, you know, since I, my upline is still here in North Carolina, you know, how to, you know, just grow being in, moving to a whole nother state without the, uh, you know, support in person. Right. So what's yeah. your question? Oh, sorry. I think I went out. I was like, uh, what's some tips for, you know, people who are moving into a new state and you don't have the upline in that state, you know, just starting fresh, how to create a ground support. Yeah. I mean, you're like me, my sponsor was 3000 miles away. And so I started gathering people at uh, guild mortgage in their conference room and I would give the loan officer loans 
is I was, and they were, and I go, hey, do you mind if I have a few agents over at lunch? I'd like to introduce you to them. Maybe you could do their loans. What mortgage company doesn't want you bringing agents into their office where they can meet them? And guess what they said? Hey, we'll order the sandwiches. We'll, we'll order the the Pepsi and the uh, and some potato salad. They, they'll like cater the thing. If you're going to bring agents into their lair and they are lions and they're, they're real happy with you. So, I mean, I literally for two years did meetings inside their uh, conference room until we just got too big to do it. And I was constantly, you know, we trained. It was uh, adding value. And you think, again, well, I don't know how to get listings. I don't know how to. I, I need a master lead generation myself. You set up the event and then call around and go, hey, would you come do this for me? And people will come. Again, the biggest enemy in your life is the enemy. It's what you're saying to yourself. So you just got to start like I did from scratch. In my first meeting, I had like five people, then 10. And, and they start off with some individual meetings. And But I remember I immediately was shown this to someone every day. 30 people a month. I spined up five out of 30. Five months later, I had 25, but then they started duplicating me. The speed of the leader determines the pace of the pack. I'll say it again. The speed of the leader determines the pace of the pack. Your group will copy what you're doing. Well, my group isn't doing much. What are you doing? I'm not doing much. Well, there you go. The speed of the leader, your speed is slow. Your group is slow. You go fast, your group goes fast. They, they, Your action speaks so loud, I can hardly hear what you're saying. They're watching you, and you are a bad example. Change your example, change the results. You don't, well, how do I get my group to do this? You do it. They're watching you. Oh, I'm doing it. Really? Have you shown this to 30 people in the last 30 days? So that that's what I mean. So um, good, good, good. Any other questions or texts or? or yes. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Barbara. Okay. I wanted to ask, do you have a sample of what you're, um, I guess, what you're showing them that we might be able to get an idea of like what to say to people? Would you, um, do you yeah, the, it's called the model explain.com. I pressed play. I did it five and a half years mm -hmm. ago when I was you, Barbara, oh, and it okay. was done by Rob Flick. It's called the model explained past tense.com. And you just press play. Thank a lot you. of people are like, oh, I got to make my own, or I got, I played Rob's. I didn't make my own. The only reason I made that is because Rob retired. And, <laughs> and so, Man, that cost me like $10,000 to produce that. I had multiple camera angles. I had engineers. We've had it all professionally edited. It's tight. You're welcome to make your own, but, uh, you know, then, you Thank know, you. you bet. You're very welcome, Barbara. Anybody else? Text. Yes. Chat. Go ahead. I have one question. Uh, in the build events, what type of sessions uh, take place at the build event? Oh, great question. So Build's primarily about building a sales organization. We do do a bonus section where it's all about production. We teach you about lead generation. We teach you how to build a team. We teach you how to get listings. We teach you, you know, it's like three hours of production base, but it's more, I would say it's 80% agent attraction. <clears throat> and um, I think we had about 5,000 people last year show up. This We max out at like we're scratching together rooms and everything. I think we can like squeeze 6,000 in this year. We pretty much filled it up last year, but we found creative ways to get a few more people in this year. And then we're, we had a contract for two years in a row. So that's why we're back. And we loved it last year. Anyone who went to that venue at the Gaylord Resort in Dallas, Texas, it was so much fun. We had a great time, but it is, it is mainly about agent attraction. So make sure people know that it's not mega camp or family reunion or Remax's annual convention, which is ad nauseum real estate. I think we're real, real estate company. Yep. And everyone says, if everyone's recruiting, who will sell the real estate? I wish everyone was recruiting. In my wildest dreams, everyone's recruiting. The truth is 10% of the agents recruit, 90% sell. Why does they do it? The tyranny of the urgent. They have bills. You have bills. And so you get to suck it up. It's called the suck it up bus. And you're going to have to burn the candle at both ends a little bit and get up a little earlier and meet some for coffee every morning. Call people you don't necessarily want to call, but you got to dream. You're not lazy and you're willing to risk your ego. You're not going to let your ego keep you broke because Bob from Century 21 was mean, mean from to you. Pam from Coldwell Banker was mean to you. You know, again, you're not in Ukraine. You're not in Baghdad. You're not in Yemen. You know, you're, you're, you know, you, you. You know what? I mean, you, you, it's, this is not science. We're not splitting an atom. An atom. We're not creating nuclear fusion energy. Um, this is pretty simple stuff, you guys. And so, massive action creates results. Do the action with love in your heart. Let's play, Barbara. Mollyspain.com. Rock and roll. Um, good, good questions, though. Very good. Um, anybody else? Question. 
Yeah, Go this ahead. is Kirtland. Oh, I might have missed this. When is the next build event? Yes. Is it on the thing behind me still? They probably took it down, didn't they? There it is, right there on the screen, right behind me over here. I'm walking towards a build. The screen, there's Tony Robbins right there from last year's build event. It's August 23rd oh, to the okay. 25th. And um, there's the Gaylord Resort. It's just a beautiful. We hired the DJ from the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, we had, and it's not all jumping around crazy. Those are just individual shots. But are you <clears> signing <throat> up for that now? or? Yeah, we just unlocked it um, literally just now. This is the first one we've done. So you can get tickets today. It sold out last year. Um, it will sell out again this year. So get some extra tickets. Bring people. I brought 19 to my first event. And now we're having over 5,000. So go bring 19 to this. If you want to have what Brent has, do what Brent did. How's that? Bring 19 on your, not in your group, on your front line, okay? And you want to have wine and have a, a, a beautiful vineyard, plant 19 vines. I planted 19 vines in the ground. They took root. They grew. So there it is, August 23rd. Come in the day before on the 22nd and leave on the 26th. Don't be in a hurry. You come make it, a, the resort is phenomenal. They have a pool, they have a spa, there's golf. There's, it's beautiful place with like five restaurants. It's under a dome, it has its own air conditioning, it's, its own climate in there. It looks like Disneyland under that dome and holds thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people. They have like a river walk in there and it's super fun. Good question. Anybody else? Hey, Brett, I have a question. Yep. Hey, um, I showed this to uh, Michelle Wilson and I showed this to a uh, Keller Williams agent. He liked everything he heard. And I, I, I followed up with him and he says, I have some personal goals. So I asked him what it was. And he said he wants to do 36 transactions first before he transfer over to EXP. Okay. So I didn't know how to, how to talk to him about that or what to respond. Oh, great question, man. What's your first name again? I, I go by MD, uh, Medardo. I'm on Michelle Wilson's team. That's awesome. Well, I'll talk to you, Medardo, because you're on Michelle's team. Otherwise, I wouldn't talk to you. No, I'm kidding. So <laughs> I know Michelle. She was in Cabo. She's great. So Medardo, um, MD, uh, basically, when everyone says, hey, I don't want to buy a home till next uh, January of 2023, a lot of people go, that's crazy. Interest rates may go up. The prices is exploding. You can pay 30,000 more for the house. And if the rates keep climbing another 30,000 interest on a 30 year loan, that's $60,000. Medardo, are you stupid? Are you crazy, Medardo? And what I say is, hey, no problem, man. Let's let's get you home next January 2023. Sounds great. Want you to be comfortable. In the meantime, Medardo, I'd like to take you out this weekend and show you two homes in your price range. You mentioned the want something between 800 and a million. So I'm going to take you to them. Now I'm going to show you two homes at $999,000 because a home at 800 is going to be nice, but one at 999 is going to be better. So I am going to the top of your price range. And then let's say there's only two homes for sale and one's at 997 and the other one's at a million 80. I'm going to show them a million 80. I'm going to say, well, it's a million 80. Do you want to see it? I'm not going to say that. I got two homes. Meet me at the Starbucks. Let's go. It'll take 10 minutes a house. Everything's 10 minutes a house. You got 20 minutes, Medardo. I'm going to get your feet wet. I'm going to introduce you to the 800 to a million dollar price range here in Atlanta, Georgia. That way, next January 2023, when you're ready to buy, you're a more sophisticated, intelligent uh, buyer who understands the market. You have something to compare it to. Can I take you out for and show you two homes this Saturday or Sunday? Uh, yeah, you could. Sunday, great. Mo afternoon or early evening. Um, morning's not available because I'm going to church. Have boundaries, you guys. Have boundaries. Um, could you do something around four? Sure, I can do four o'clock. Sounds good. Now, there, there, you want to be in the Highlands Park area of Atlanta. There's a Starbucks over there by um, the Macy's over there by the gallery. Oh, yeah, I know that's good. I'll meet you there. I'll buy you Starbucks. We'll go to take 10 minutes a house. Let's go. You notice I didn't argue with you. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So same thing when that agent says, well, I'm not sure. I got something weird on my um, screen. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Okay. So when the agent says, look, I want to sell 30 homes yet before I make the switch. Hey, no problem. In the meantime, come to our uh, lead uh, lead generation class. Come to our powerhouse listing agent class. Come come to the shareholders. Check us out. I will fly you out. I will invest money for you to learn about EXP. So I, I don't argue with them. Hey, I you know I I 
join EXP, but I just went to Coldwell Baker. No problem. In the meantime, would you make a commitment to me to stay in curiosity about the model? Is it interesting enough for you to learn more about the model? And then they relax like, oh, okay. I go, sometimes you'll see them start to um, sweat bullets here and they'll, they'll be literally sweating bullets. I go, hey, hey, let's, let's take a, let's take a, a breath here. Um, you're not leaving Sotheby's. You're not leaving Keller Williams or Remax. You're, you stay there. You're going nowhere. Right now, just take a breath. You're, you're, you're learning about a new business model. Can you make a commitment to me to stay in curiosity about that business, whoops, uh, about the new, uh, bi this business model? And they go, yeah, I can do that. This is awesome. That's all we're doing here. <sighs> Take a breath, you know, because I'm like, oh, I got to leave my friends. I got to tell my broker. Oh, I got to order new signs. And they're stressed. So you say, no, 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 no. Right now, you're not allowed to come to EXP. I just want you to learn about the model. Take a breath, come to some of our stuff. Meet some people, come out to Cabo, come out to Maui, come out to some of the stuff. I hope I'll help pay for your room. I hope pay for a flight. Um, you know, if you come, you didn't think it was worth 10 times what it costs you to go to shareholders. 10 times. I'll pay for your airline ticket and your room. I'll reimburse you. And like, wow, you guys, do you do that stuff? I did this. Well, Brent, that's because you I didn't have the money. I borrowed, I borrowed money five and a half years ago to do XP. I if you wanted to start a snow cone shop and you didn't have a little a uh, place and a snow cone machine, you might have to borrow some money to make cookies. Or if you want to be in the pizza business, you might borrow some money to buy a pizza oven, a cash register, lease a little spot at a strip mall, and there's Brent's Pizza in um, Atlanta, Georgia. And so you need to capitalize your business a little bit. Did, did I answer your question for you at all? Yes, you did. Awesome. Thanks, Brett. I got time for two more questions and we're done. And we fast answers. Who wants to go next? Hello. Yes. Hi, I'm a new agent. I just joined. And um, I was just, I have a question about door knocking. Like, what's the best way or what do I say to these people that look, like, look at me like I'm crazy? I tried it over the weekend and it was not good. <laughs> Great, great question. I've never do knocked on a door in my life, so I would be the wrong guy to ask. Um, so be careful who you're at. I mean, I appreciate that you asked that. Find out who the door knocking experts are and ask them if you can take them to breakfast or coffee and ask them how to do it. I did open houses, I did the radio, and I built a team and I leveraged with staff and a team. That's all I know how to do. I know nothing about social media. Um, I have people who do it for me. So you could hire people, but um, find someone who's good at door knocking and ask them. And everybody would love to be a blowhard. Oh, let me tell you about door knocking. Well, how many doors have you knocked on? Ten. You don't want to listen to anyone who's knocked on ten doors. I've knocked on none. So if you want to know about farming, I don't farm, but the people farm, it's great. There's nothing. I have friends who are living multi-million dollar homes and are multi-millionaires through door knocking. Now they've done it for 25 years. 50 homes every morning, 250 homes a week, thousand homes a month. And today they're multi-millionaires living in Wexford and our best community, Ferraris, Porsches, Lamborghinis. They they have a, a garage that holds 10 of their exotic cars. The guy, Michael Sorry's door knocker. So don't that all works, you know, calling, you know, mojo dialers, be careful the do not call this. You can get sued big time. And it's not covered by ENO. So be very careful about uh cold okay. calling or do not call this. I wouldn't even do it. I would not do that one. Open houses are great. I have a training at brentgove.com. Click on real estate training and then click on how to do a mega open house. I sold 427 homes one year. 318 were strangers we met at open houses that year. I sold 318 homes in a single year from open houses. So I'm very good at that. It's a 90 minute training it's there. Everything I know about it right okay. there. Brinkov.com under real estate. Good question. Final question. Anybody else? Good, good question. Anybody? Final question. Hey, Brent, I'll go. Um, several of the partners are doing trainings on agent attraction. I mean, you obviously you've done really well at that. Is there more on the process than just watching the video that we can refer to? Yeah, yeah. If you go to my YouTube channel, I probably have 60 different speakers who are just crushing it. 
Um, I could have 600, you know, we do events and we're only allowed to have, you know, we can only fit in six, seven, eight speakers a day. So I probably have 60 to 100 speakers on my YouTube channel. So go to YouTube, type Brent Gove in the search bar, and then it'll show you a bunch of videos. So you're not at my YouTube channel. You have to actually, once you see my name with the circle, click on that, it goes into my YouTube channel. Then it's specifically all agent attraction stuff we put up. So make sure you, when you get to Brent Gove, that you click on my face in the circle which take you into my channel you'll think you're at my channel you're not until, until you click on my face in the round circle that'll take you into my channel and there's all kinds of training i also have brinko.com you look at there um there's an agent attraction button at the top and there's your first 30 days the system how to attract four simple steps um there's just uh, watch the rob flick 90 minutes uh training video it's Phenomenal. Rob Flick, 90 minute. That's under Brinkov.com under agent attraction, under training. Um, there's resources. There's so you get the, the YouTube channel with all kinds of information. People love it. You get the podcast, which Jason mentioned earlier. You got my website. It's everything that you know. I'm holding nothing back, whether you're in my group or somebody else's group. Um, man, we're we're in this together. You you win, my stock becomes more valuable. I win, your stock becomes more valuable. I may not be in your business, but the better I do, the more the more equity your family has. The better you do, the more equity my family has. It was never like that at any other company. And nobody else had health care. Barbara, I think that was you who said that earlier. Thank you for mentioning the health care. There's so many wins at the XP, and we're just getting started. We're going to have a million agents. We'll have 500,000 next three and a half years. So um, it's just buckle up, guys. It's going to be awesome. Okay, that's it for today. We are.